The Venus Project 
An in-depth analysis of a socio-economic alternative. Introduction. The Venus Project, founded by social engineer and futurist Jacques Fresco, proposes a radical socio-economic model aimed at resolving the numerous challenges facing humanity today. It advocates for the construction of a new, global civilization, utilizing advanced technologies and scientific approaches to create an equitable society free from scarcity, environmental degradation, and social inequality. At its core, the Venus Project envisions a shift away from the current monetary-based economy to a resource-based economy, RBE, prioritizing the efficient and sustainable use of Earth's resources for the betterment of all humanity. This essay explores the fundamental principles, goals, and criticisms of the Venus Project, offering a comprehensive understanding of its implications for global society. 1. Origins and Evolution of the Venus Project Background of Jacques Fresco Jacques Fresco was born in 1916 in Brooklyn, New York, and spent much of his early life during the Great Depression. This experience profoundly influenced his perspective on the flaws of the current socioeconomic system, where poverty, inequality, and systemic inefficiency were rampant. Fresco became an autodidact, teaching himself engineering, design, and social theory, eventually creating blueprints for alternative social systems aimed at resolving humanity's core issues. Fresco's vision of an ideal society crystallized in what would later become known as the Venus Project, named after Venus, Florida, where the project's research center is located. Alongside his partner, Roxanne Meadows, Fresco spent decades refining the conceptual and architectural designs that would form the backbone of the project. Informed by scientific approaches and technological advancements, Fresco believed that humanity could design a new world where social harmony and environmental sustainability prevail. Conceptual Development of the Venus Project The Venus Project emerged in response to Fresco's observations of systemic failings in modern society. He argued that capitalism, communism, and other political economic systems were fundamentally flawed because they all operated within a scarcity-driven framework. Fresco instead advocated for a paradigm shift toward abundance, facilitated by advanced technology and rational resource management. Throughout his life, Fresco delivered lectures, participated in interviews, and published works to disseminate the ideas central to the Venus Project. The project's conceptual development continued throughout the late 20th century, gaining more attention in the 2000s with the rise of digital platforms and the release of films like Zeitgeist Addendum, which introduced the Venus Project to a broader audience. Two. The Vision Resource-Based Economy, RBE. Definition and Principles. The cornerstone of the Venus Project is the concept of a resource-based economy, RBE. Unlike the traditional monetary-based system, which uses money as a medium of exchange, an RBE aims to eliminate money altogether. Instead, resources would be distributed based on need and availability, using technology to ensure the equitable distribution of goods and services without human labor or market-based exchange mechanisms. In a resource-based economy, there is no concept of ownership in the traditional sense. Goods and services are designed for access, rather than possession. The goal is to move society away from consumption-driven models that waste resources and promote inequality. Key Features of a Resource-Based Economy Scientific Resource Management the RBE model emphasizes using data and technology to assess resource availability and distribution. Central to this system is a global inventory of resources, which is constantly updated to reflect what is available and what is needed. Automation and technological efficiency. The widespread adoption of automation would drastically reduce the need for human labor. Jobs considered redundant or harmful, like factory work or mining, could be replaced by robotic systems allowing people to focus on creative, intellectual, and interpersonal endeavors. Elimination of scarcity. By managing resources effectively and using advanced technology, an RBE seeks to eliminate the artificial scarcity imposed by market-driven economies. The abundance created would ensure that everyone has access to basic needs like food, water, shelter, healthcare, and education. 3. Technological integration for a sustainable future. Automation and Artificial Intelligence The Venus Project envisions a future where automation and artificial intelligence, AI, are integral to societal functioning. 
As machines become more capable of performing complex tasks, human labor can be freed for more meaningful pursuits. AI and robotics could manage production, logistics, and resource distribution, reducing inefficiencies and waste. In this vision, transportation systems, agriculture, energy production, and manufacturing are all automated, allowing for a seamless flow of resources. These systems would be self-sustaining and would operate with minimal human intervention. This is expected to significantly reduce human suffering as dangerous or menial jobs become obsolete. Renewable energy and environmental sustainability. A core component of the Venus project is environmental sustainability. To this end, the project advocates for the extensive use of renewable energy sources, including solar, wind, geothermal, and tidal energy. These clean energy systems would replace fossil fuels, reducing environmental degradation and mitigating climate change. The Venus Project also proposes a comprehensive approach to waste management, including recycling and reusing materials wherever possible. By designing products with durability and sustainability in mind, waste can be minimized, leading to a more circular economy where resources are continually reused rather than discarded. 4. Social and cultural implications. Education, culture, and the elimination of scarcity. One of the most profound implications of the Venus Project is the potential transformation of education and culture. With the elimination of scarcity, the emphasis in education could shift from competition and economic survival to creative expression, intellectual exploration, and cooperative problem solving. In this vision, education becomes a lifelong process facilitated by access to the best resources, technologies, and knowledge without the constraints of cost. The idea is that in a society where basic needs are met, human potential is free to flourish. Cultural institutions such as art, music, and science would no longer be shaped by economic factors, but would be driven by human curiosity and a desire for advancement. Global Governance and Human Rights The Venus Project advocates for a world without national borders, where humanity is united in common goals. Governance in this new society would not be based on traditional politics or power structures. Instead, decisions would be made using the scientific method, data analysis, and collective consensus. The aim is to ensure that resources are distributed equitably and human rights are upheld across the globe. In the Venus Project's framework, the protection of individual freedoms and the advancement of human rights are paramount. With the elimination of poverty, inequality, and environmental destruction, many of the root causes of conflict, crime, and violence are expected to diminish. 5. The Architecture of the Future Circular Cities and Urban Planning A critical aspect of the Venus Project's proposal is the design of futuristic cities that prioritize sustainability and efficiency. Fresco's architectural designs emphasize circular cities, which are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functionally optimal. These cities would be constructed using the latest materials and building techniques to minimize environmental impact. Circular cities are designed with a central hub for public services and communal spaces, while residential and industrial zones are arranged concentrically around it. Transportation within these cities would rely on automated systems, eliminating the need for personal cars and reducing traffic congestion. Transportation, infrastructure, and energy systems. In addition to urban planning, the Venus Project envisions advanced transportation systems that are energy efficient and environmentally friendly. High speed maglev trains, electric vehicles, and automated transport systems would be used for local and long distance travel. These systems would be powered by renewable energy sources, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and decreasing emissions. The infrastructure would be designed to last with self-maintaining materials and modular designs that can be easily upgraded or repaired. By focusing on sustainability, these cities would have minimal impact on the surrounding environment, ensuring a harmonious relationship between human development and nature. Six challenges and criticisms of the Venus Project. Feasibility concerns. One of the most common criticisms of the Venus Project is its perceived lack of feasibility. Critics argue that the project's reliance on advanced technology assumes a level of technological development that has yet to be achieved. Moreover, transitioning from the current global economic system to a resource-based economy would be a monumental task, 
requiring unprecedented global cooperation and overcoming entrenched political and economic interests. Additionally, skeptics question whether human nature itself, which often prioritizes personal gain and competition, can align with the ideals of the Venus Project. Implementing such radical changes would necessitate a fundamental shift in human consciousness and social behavior, which critics argue may be unrealistic. Economic and Political Critiques From an economic standpoint, critics argue that the Venus Project underestimates the complexities of global trade and resource management. Eliminating money and markets entirely may lead to inefficiencies in resource allocation or unintended consequences in human motivation. While the project aims to solve the issues of scarcity and inequality, opponents question whether these problems can be fully eradicated without economic incentives. Politically, the Venus Project's rejection of nation-states and traditional forms of governance raises concerns about how power would be distributed in such a system. Critics worry that a reliance on technology and automation could lead to technocratic governance, where a small group of experts or algorithms makes decisions for society at large, potentially undermining democratic processes. 7. Comparison with other alternative socioeconomic models Marxism and Socialism The Venus Project shares certain philosophical similarities with Marxism and Socialism, particularly in its critique of capitalism and its emphasis on social equality. Like Socialism, the Venus Project advocates for the abolition of private property, in terms of resource ownership, and the collective management of resources. However, there are key differences. Marxism traditionally focuses on the working class seizing control of production, whereas the Venus Project envisions a world without classes, where advanced technology eliminates the need for manual labor. Moreover, while socialism often operates within a monetary system, the Venus Project seeks to eliminate money entirely. Utopian Communities and Historical Precedents the Venus Project has also been compared to various historical utopian communities, such as those envisioned by thinkers like Robert Owen or Henry David Thoreau. These communities sought to create self-sustaining societies based on principles of equality and shared resources. While many of these experiments failed due to internal conflicts or external pressures, they provide valuable lessons for understanding the challenges the Venus Project might face. Unlike these earlier attempts, however, the Venus Project is not limited to a small community but envisions a global transformation. Its reliance on technology to manage resources and automate processes distinguishes it from previous utopian models, which often depended on manual labor and communal ownership. 8. Conclusion The Future of the Venus Project The Venus Project represents an ambitious and idealistic vision of what the future could look like if humanity harnesses technology and science for the common good. By advocating for a resource-based economy, it challenges the foundational assumptions of the current economic systems and offers a blueprint for a world without scarcity, inequality, or environmental degradation. However, significant challenges remain. Critics question its feasibility, the transition process, and whether such a society could ever come to fruition given current global power structures. Nonetheless, the Venus Project continues to inspire discussions about alternative socioeconomic models and the role of technology in shaping the future of human civilization. In a world facing escalating climate crises, social inequality, and technological disruption, the Venus Project's ideas offer a starting point for envisioning new possibilities. Whether or not its full vision is realized, its emphasis on sustainability, Technology and global cooperation resonates as a potential framework for addressing the 21st century's most pressing challenges. I wish I could.